to all um i just want to make a video about this law that's uh, the newly approved law about the uh, nine years old that they're thinking about um putting them in jail or not jail but juvenile jail once they make a once they commit a crime they think they they thought about it of nine years old because they're thinking about to prevent those kids to be used in syndicates or drug um, drug selling you know my comment my opinion about this is they're too young nine years old if they wanna they want to prevent them to be being used in illegal crimes or drugs what they should do is they should catch those people who's behind those kids not the kids don't punish the kids punish those who's um, controlling those kids nine years old are too young um, if for example they commit crimes if they're young very young like nine years old to 15 years old if they commit a crime i it would be best if they go in some sort of rehabilitation center where they they would get it's not really rehab, it's like um activity center where they would be developed they would learn good morals they would learn different kind of um, um, skills that they could use in the future and they should not be put in jail for so long it, um, yeah depends on the crime you know if they kill then longer it's okay they could be put in jail but still not jail with adults you know because we we should think that their development at that age is not yet you know at nine years old what do you know about nine years old i mean when you were nine imagine what what was your point of view in life when you're nine years old not much uh, it's not even uh, at that time i don't think you already th also think about what do you want to do in when you grow up you know i mean don't let, let's not give let's not the uh, it's like they're going to lose their hope in the future if at a very young age they already think oh we are being treated as criminals we are not good in the society how 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 long they have life in front of them ahead of them you know it's like nine years old there's so many more years that we could uh, help them as they said in the song is the children is children is our future teach them well and let them lead the way show them all the future they possess inside give them a sense of pride and make it easier <coughs> let the children's laughter remind us, us remind us how we used to be you know when 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 i read about this uh, new um bill that they wanna that they just approved i am really against it i mean i know that i know that um you know we should not protect them but we should also not punish them it's like we need to discipline them we need to be in the middle if they have done something wrong we need to not punish them but teach them educate them tell them what was it that they did wrong or how would they be able to you know react next time or what is it that needs to be done next time so from now on i'm going to speak tagalog okay because i want to talk to filipinos so para sa mga kababayan natin alagaan po natin yung ating mga kabataan kasi kawawa naman sila i mean 
sila yung magiging, sila yung magpapatakbo or sila yung mga future natin sa inarap, sila yung mga mag-aalaga sa atin o sila yung magiging guro or ano man yung pangarapin nila sa hinarap. Kung ano pa lang sila, siyam na taon pa lang, tinapos pinutol na natin yung pangarap nila or hindi na natin sila binigyan ng pagkakataon na mangarap sa buhay kasi nagkaroon sila ng na, na, napasama sila sa maling barkada o siguro hindi sila nagabayan ng maayos ng kanilang mga magulang dapat hindi hindi sila dapat eh, sa ganyang edad lalo siya na taon pa lang hindi dapat sila na, na i-involve sa mga ganong krimen o o iparana sa kanila kung paano yung makulong kasi ano eh, bata pa eh, dapat tayong mga matatanda or nakakatanda ang magpuprotekta at magtuturo sa mga nakakabata kung ano ba yung dapat, paano ba, at saka dapat mas suportahan natin sila kasi bakit ba nagawa ng bata yung ganun? Bakit ba siya na, napunta sa krimen, sa krimen? May mga magulang ba siya? Nagagabayan ba siya ng mga magulang niya? Ano, may problema ba siya? Siguro may sakit, may, may, may sakit ba siya sa pag-iisip? O hindi ba siya natuturuan na maayos? Kasi maraming mga kadahilanan bakit ang mga bata na papasangkot, nasasangkot sa mga kriminalidad. Dapat isipin natin yun bago natin ipatupad yung batas kasi kawawa naman yung mga yung mga bata na hindi naman nila parang hindi nila iniisip na ganun yung maging epekto. Kung ikukulong man sila, dapat hindi yung asing kulong-kulong. Bawa yung parang nasa, nasa lang sila, parang, nasa, parang lang silang papadala, ipapadala sa isang, sa isang paaralan na, na merong mga kwarto, may mga bahay, ganun. Kung, do, kung saan tuturuan sila ng mag, magandang asal, hubugin sila para yung mentality nila, yung pag-iisip nila, mabago. Bigyan natin sila ng, ng hope na bata pa sila, marami pa silang pwedeng maabot sa buhay kung magbabago sila, kung babaguhin nila yung maling gawa nila. So, masyado kong um, tawag dito na aapektuhan sa paano kalang batas na ito kasi nga may anak ako may mga pamangkin ako sa Pinas parang nakakalungkot naman pagka ganun ba diba? kasi parang bakit yung mga bata ang kailangan mag eh, managot sa kasalanan ng ng mga matatanda or kasi naman yung nag eh, hahawak sa kanila ba diba? So, yun na lang. That's my opinion about this Tagalog and English. I started in English and then Tagalog at the end. Because you know, when you want to speak from your heart, sometimes it's better to use your own language. So, that's it. Bye!